Park Joon Hai, Wikipedia article audio. Park Joon Hai Hai, IPA, English, slash P, K, G, N H E, slash, born February 2, 1952, is a South Korean politician who served as President of South Korea from 2013 to 2017. Park was the first woman to be elected as president of South Korea and also the first female president popularly elected as head of state in East Asia. Early Life and Education Career Assemblywoman GNP Chairwoman and Queen of Elections 2007 Presidential Bid 2008 General Election Head of Senurai Party 2012 Parliamentary Election 2012 Presidential Campaign Positions Presidency Inauguration First Year Administrative Philosophy Government Restructuring Foreign Policy United States North Korea China Russia Economic Policy Social Policy National Second Year Foreign Policy 2 North Korea 2 Prior to her presidency, Park was chairwoman of the Conservative Grand National Party, which later changed its name to Senurai Party in February 2012, from 2004 to 2006 and 2011 to 2012. She was also a member of the National Assembly serving four consecutive parliamentary terms between 1998 and 2012. She started her fifth term as a representative elected by National List in June 2012. Her father, Park Chung-hee, was the president of South Korea from 1963 to 1979 serving five consecutive terms after he seized power in 1961. Government Restructuring 2 Third Year In 2013 and 2014, Park was ranked 11th on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women and the most powerful woman in East Asia. In 2014, she was ranked 46th on the Forbes list of the world's most powerful people, the third highest South Korean on the list, after Lee Kun Hee and Lee Jae Young. Foreign Policy 3 China 2 On December 9, 2016, Park was impeached by the National Assembly on charges related to influence peddling by her top aide, Choi Soon Sil. Her presidential powers and duties were suspended with the ratification of the impeachment. Then Prime Minister Wang Kyo Ahn thus assumed those powers and duties as acting president. The impeachment was upheld by the Constitutional Court via a unanimous 8-0 ruling on March 10, 2017, thereby removing Park from office. Park is currently held under arrest at Seoul Detention Center. Park was born on February 2, 1952, in Samdeokdong of Yung District, Daegu, as the first child of Park Chung-hee, the third president of South Korea who served between 1963 and 1979, and Yuk Young-soo. She has a younger brother, Park Ji Man, and a younger sister, Park Joon Rae Young. She is unmarried with no children. Pew Research Center described her as an atheist with a Buddhist and Roman Catholic upbringing. In addition to her native Korean, Park also speaks English, Spanish, 
French and Mandarin with varying degrees of fluency. In 1953, Park's family moved to Seoul and she graduated from Seoul's Jangchung Elementary School and Sung Shim Girls Middle and High School in 1970, going on to receive a bachelor's degree in electronic engineering from Sogang University in 1974. She briefly studied at Joseph Fourier University, but left France following the murder of her mother. Park's mother was killed on August 15, 1974 in the National Theatre of Korea, Mun Se Gwang, a Japanese-born Korean sympathizer of North Korea and member of the Chong Ryan, was attempting to assassinate President Park Chung-hee. Park was regarded as First Lady until the assassination of her father by his own intelligence chief, Kim Jae-jihoo on October 26, 1979. During this time, activists who were political opponents of her father claimed to be subject to arbitrary detention. Further, human rights were considered subordinate to economic development. In 2007, Park expressed regret at the treatment of activists during this period. Park received honorary doctoral degrees from the Chinese Culture University in Taiwan in 1987, Pyukyang National University in Kaist in 2008, Sogang University in 2010, and Tu Dresden in 2014. Park was elected a Grand National Party Assemblywoman for Dalzong County, Daegu, in 1998 by election and three more times in the same electoral district between 1998 and 2008, being the incumbent assemblywoman till April 2012. In 2012, she announced that she would not run for a constituency representative seat for the 19th election in Dalzong or anywhere else, but for a proportional representative position for the Senurai party instead in order to lead the party's election campaign. She was elected as a proportional representative in the April 2012 election. Due to the failed attempt to impeach President Romu Hyun and the bribery scandal of its 2002 presidential candidate, Lee Hoi Chong, the GNP was facing a severe defeat in the 2004 general election. Park was appointed as the chairwoman of the party and led the election efforts. In the election, the GNP lost its majority position but managed to gain 121 seats, which is largely considered a great achievement under such inhospitable circumstances for the party. As the chairwoman of the GNP, Park helped her party make significant gains in local elections and actually obtain a majority in 2006. During the campaign, on May 20, 2006, Ji Chung Ho, a 50-year-old man with eight criminal convictions, slashed Park's face with a utility knife, causing an 11-centimeter wound that required 60 stitches and several hours of surgery. A famous anecdote from this incident occurred when Park was hospitalized after the attack. The first word that she said to her secretary after her recovery from her wound was how is Daejeon? After this, the candidate from the Grand National Party won the election for mayor of the city of Daejeon despite having trailed by more than 20 percentage points in opinion polls up to the point of the attack. In addition, during her term as the GNP chairwoman between 2004 and 2006, the party won all 40 re-elections and by-elections held, which was largely credited to her influence and efforts. This feat gave Park a nickname Queen of Elections. On February 12, 2007, Park made a much-publicized visit to Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, United States. Her visit culminated in an address to a packed audience at the John F. Kennedy School of Government, 
where she said she wanted to save Korea and advocated a stronger relationship between South Korea and the United States. Park hoped to emulate her father's success by becoming the presidential nominee of the Grand National Party. She eventually lost to Lee Myung-bok by a narrow margin. Lee had a commanding lead at the beginning of the primary season, but Park was able to narrow the gap through allegations of Lee's corruption. Park won the party member's bid, but she lost the national bid, which is a larger percentage of the total presidential bid. After the 2007 presidential election, President Lee Myung-bok formed a government of mostly close supporters. Park's supporters argued that this was a kind of political reprisal, and that they should secede from the Grand National Party. Eventually, they formed parties named Pro-Park Coalition and Solidarity for Pro-Park Independence. Park herself did not join them but indirectly supported them by announcing I hope these people will come back alive. After the mass secession, the rebels announced that they would rejoin GNP after the general election, but the GNP prohibited it. In the following 2008 general election, the rebels won 26 seats, 14 from the pro-Park coalition and 12 as independents. Together, they played a pivotal role in the GNP's narrow majority. Park continually insisted that GNP should allow the return of her supporters. As of 2011, most of these rebels had returned to the GNP, resulting in approximately 50 to 60 assembly members who support Park out of 171 in the GNP. As a response to the dwindling approval rating of the GNP, the party formed an emergency committee and changed the name of the political party from the Grand National Party to the Senurai Party, meaning New Frontier Party. On December 19, 2011, Park was appointed as the chairwoman of GNP's emergency committee, the de facto leader of the party. The Senurai Party achieved a surprise win against the opposing Democratic United Party in the 2012 general election, winning 152 seats and retaining its majority position. Because of the corruption scandals of the Lee administration revealed before the election, the Senurai Party was widely expected to win no more than 100 seats. During the 13 day campaign period, Park traveled about 7,200 kilometers around South Korea, visiting more than 100 constituencies. It is the consensus of Korean news media and political experts that the most important factor leading to Senurai Party's victory was Park's leadership. For this reason, the 2012 election was often dubbed the return of the Queen of Election. Senurai's defeat in the populous Seoul metropolitan area in this election, however, revealed the limitation of Park's political influence. Park had been the leading candidate for the 2012 presidential election in every national level poll in South Korea between 2008, when the Lee Myung Bok administration began, and September 2011 with an approval rating of 25% to 45%, more than twice that of the second candidate. Park's approval rating was highest when the 2008 National Assembly election showed her strong influence and lowest in early 2010 as a result of her political stance against the Lee administration in Sejong City issue. In September 2011, A.H.N. Cheolsu, a former venture IT businessman and the Dean of Graduate School of Convergence Science and Technology at Seoul National University, emerged as a strong independent candidate for the presidency. In national-level presidential polls in September 2011, AHN and Park Jaun-hai closely competed for the status of front-runner, 
with Park losing the top seat in some polls for the first time since 2008. After her victory in the 2012 general election, Park's approval rating increased significantly. In a national-level survey by Mono Research on 30 August Park was the top presidential candidate with an approval rating of 45.5% when competing with all potential candidates, and according to another recent national survey result, had a higher approval rating than AHN in a two-way competition with him as of September 11. On July 10, Park formally announced her 2012 presidential bid at the Times Square, Yongdungpo District, Seoul. In this event she emphasized the right to pursue happiness, a democratic economy, and customized welfare services for the Korean people. The opposing Democratic Party elected Moon Jae-in as its presidential candidate on September 17, while A.H.N. Cheol Su announced his presidential bid on September 19. Although still a leading candidate, Park had a lower approval rating than both A.H.N. and Moon when engaged in two-way competition, according to a September 22 national survey. She was elected as the President of the Republic of Korea on December 19, 2012 with the approval of 51.6% of Korean voters. In 2017, the NSI has admitted it conducted an illicit campaign to influence the South Korea's 2012 presidential election mobilizing teams of experts in psychological warfare to ensure that the conservative candidate, Park joon hye beat her liberal rival Moon Jae-in. In a 2012 survey by Korean Research assessing the political stance of 12 potential presidential candidates of South Korea, Park was considered the most conservative candidate. Her conservative market-oriented political stance was well reflected in her campaign pledge for 2008 presidential bid to cut taxes, reduce regulation, and establish strong law and order. Since 2009, however, Park started to focus more on welfare issues, advocating customized welfare services to the South Korean people. Park is well known for her strict, no compromise adherence to political promises. In 2010, for example, she successfully stopped the Lee administration's attempt to cancel the plan to establish Sejong City, a new national center of administration, arguing the plan was a promise made to people. This conflict between Park and Lee administration cost her a considerable decrease in her approval rating at the time. In 2012, Park also vowed to construct a new airport in the southeastern region, a 2008 presidential campaign promise made by GNP but cancelled in 2011, despite claims of economic infeasibility of the plan. The administrative vision of President Park Jae-un Hye's new government is a new era of hope and happiness. The five administrative goals of the government are a job-centered creative economy, tailored employment and welfare, creativity-oriented education and cultural enrichment, a safe and united society and strong security measures for sustainable peace on the Korean Peninsula. The Park Joon hye administration plans to create a trustworthy, clean and capable government through carrying out these goals related strategies, and tasks. Park chose not vote in the 2017 South Korean presidential election. Park became the 18th president of South Korea on February 25, 2013. At midnight, she took over all presidential authorities including the prerogative of Supreme Command of South Korea's armed forces from her predecessor Lee Myung-bok. In her inauguration speech at the National Assembly Building, 
Park spoke of her plan to open a new era of hope through economic prosperity, people's happiness, and cultural enrichment. She particularly expressed her hope that North Korea would give up its nuclear arms and walk on the path of peace and mutual development, and declared that the foundation for a happy era of unification in which all Korean people will be able to enjoy prosperity and freedom and realize their dreams would be built through the Korean Peninsula Trust Building process. In her inauguration speech, Park presented four guiding principles to realize her administrative vision, economic prosperity, people's happiness, cultural enrichment, and establishment of foundation for peaceful unification. Park's inauguration ceremony was the largest one in South Korean history with 70,000 participants. Diplomatic representatives in Korea as well as high-level delegates specially sent from 24 countries around the world including Thai Prime Minister Ying Luk Shinawatra, U.S. National Security Advisor Thomas Donilon, Taiwanese Legislative Speaker Wang Jin Pyng and former Japanese Prime Minister Yasuo Fukuda also participated in the event to congratulate Park. The goal of the newly launched Park Jeon Hai Administration for Governing State Affairs is to open a new era of hope and happiness for all the people. Park avowed that South Korea will break away from its long pursued development model that centers around the nation, and shift the focus of government administration from the state to individual citizens. Through this process, the structure of CO prosperity, in which the citizens become happy and as a result the nation develops, will be created. Park's administrative vision and basic principles for governing the nation are concretely outlined in her policy plans for the economy, society, welfare, diplomacy, and unification. The administration's keywords in managing state affairs are people, happiness, trust, CO prosperity and principle. Right after taking office, Park restructured the Blue House and government organization to carry out her administrative vision. The Office of National Security at the Blue House, Ministry of Science, ICT, and Future Planning, and Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries were newly launched, and the seat of Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs was revived. The chief of the National Security Office would act as a control tower for diplomatic, security, and national defense issues, and the deputy prime minister for economic affairs for economic, social, and welfare issues. Fourth and Fifth Year Foreign Policy for Iran 2016 General Elections Approval ratings Arrest and detention Trial Criticism Parentage controversy Bulletin IL Foundation accusations Party criticism Spokesman scandal Election meddling scandal Lack of communication November 2015 protests Censorship Controversy about violating Public Official Election Act Choi Soon Sil scandal and impeachment Electoral history National Assembly races 1998 2000 2004 2008 2012 Presidential Publications Books Articles Footnotes After taking office, Park met with John Kerry and U.S. President Barack Obama. Park's trip to the United States was her first foreign trip after taking office. Like many of her predecessors, Park has maintained a close relationship with the U.S., 
which has over 20,000 soldiers stationed in South Korea. During her visit to the U.S., she addressed a joint session of the U.S. Congress, where she called for a united front against any North Korean provocations. Park also called for a strong global relationship between South Korea and the United States. Park assesses the security situation on the Korean Peninsula and emphasized that deterrence capabilities were the most important factor for security. Thus, Park considers the American-South Korean alliance as the most successful one in the world. And she hopes the American-South Korean relationship can be upgraded from a comprehensive strategic alliance to a global partnership. Park visited the United States on her first overseas trip as president. She traveled to Washington, D.C., New York City, and Los Angeles on 5-9 May 2013. During summit talks in May at the White House, Presidents Park and Obama adopted a joint declaration for the American-South Korean alliance and discussed ways to further develop the bilateral relations in a future forward manner. Also, two leaders discussed ways to promote cooperation in building peace in the Northeast Asian region and strength the partnership between Seoul and Washington. The two leaders of South Korea and the United States agreed to adopt a joint statement on comprehensive energy cooperation to build a foundation for a future growth engine and establish a policy cooperation committee on information and communication technology. In addition, President Park urged her U.S. counterpart to expand the annual U.S. visa quota for South Korean professionals in order to promote CO development of both economies. In particular, the joint declaration in commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States of America adopted by South Korea and the United States will become a meaningful document looking back at the past six decades of the alliance and spelling out a new direction for the development of bilateral relations over the coming decade. North Korea had engaged in provocations such as violating a UN Security Council resolution and firing a long-range missile on December 12, 2012, just before December 19 presidential election. After Park was elected, North Korea conducted its third nuclear test February 12, 2013 nullified the non-aggression agreements between the two countries on March 8 and withdrew North Korean workers from the Kaesong Industrial Complex on April 8. Park maintained her stance that South Korea will not succumb to the North's provocations and threats, and will endeavor to elicit policy coordination towards North Korea with major powers such as the United States, China, and the UN. Her response to North Korean issues gained the support of many South Koreans and also the United States, China, and Russia, and played a significant role in the unanimous adoption by the UN Security Council of Resolution 2094 regarding North Korea on March 7, 2013. Due to Park's response and the international community's actions, on June 6 North Korea ceased provocations and threats towards the South and suggested holding discussions on reopening the Kaesong Industrial Complex. Park said that peace and unification on the Korean Peninsula is the wish of all 70 million Koreans and that as president she will do her utmost to meet such a goal. As well. The ultimate objective of reunification efforts is to improve the quality of life of people in both Koreas, to further expand freedom and human rights, and build a prosperous Korean peninsula. She later stated, to open a new era of peace and hope on the peninsula, North Korea needs to accept her administration's trust-building policy initiative. Park's policy vision and initiative on issues concerning North Korea and unification are reflected in her Korean Peninsula trust-building process. 
The Ministry of Unification has announced a new vision statement realizing a new unified Korea that ensures everyone's happiness. The administrative tasks for this cause include normalizing inter-Korean relations through a trust-building process, embarking on small-scale unification projects that will lead to a complete integration of the two Koreas, and taking practical measures to prepare for unification by strengthening unification capabilities. According to Park, peaceful unification will be achieved in a three-stage unification initiative, starting from securing peace, going through economic integration, and finally reaching political integration. To achieve sustainable peace by the initiative, the new administration will offer humanitarian assistance for the people in North Korea, inter-Korean exchange and cooperation in economic, social and cultural areas, and will apply Vision Korea project for establishing a single economic community in the Korean Peninsula, conditioned on sufficient mutual trust and progress in denuclearizing North Korea. On 27-30 June 2013, Park visited China with a South Korean delegation, where she met with Xi Jinping, the Chinese president. During the meetings, Park explained the government's stance on North Korea and gained his support. On November 13, 2013, Park held an extended summit with President Vladimir Putin whose visit to South Korea was the first among leaders of four major powers including the United States, China, and Japan. During the summit, Park and Putin had a comprehensive and productive dialogue with focus on improving economic relations such as logistics cooperation projects, expanding people-to-people -people exchanges, and strengthening political ties between South Korea and Russia. Park especially, emphasized on making preparations to produce an outcome that corresponds to common interests by combining Korea's Eurasian Initiative and Russia's Asia-Pacific policy. After the summit, both presidents issued a joint communique and held a joint press conference. Earlier, Park attended the G20 summit at St. Petersburg in September 2013 where she met Putin for a separate dialogue discussing economic cooperation and seeking support on North Korean issues. It marked the first Korea-Russia summit talk since Park's inauguration. When Park met with Russian Minister for the Development of Russian Far East Viktor Ishaev, who headed the Russian delegation to Park's inaugural ceremony, she stated that Russia is one of Korea's key strategic partners and the successful launch of the narrow rocket is the outcome of mutually beneficial relations and demonstrates that relations will grow stronger in the future. She also noted that Russia's active participation in the six-party talks will contribute to alleviating tension on the Korean peninsula. Park announced her plan to build a creative economy on June 5, 2013 representing her vision for economic revival and job creation. In April, Park said timing is very important for our economic policy, jobs and livelihood mainly ordinary people should organize a supplementary budget in a timely manner. On April 8, 2014, Park signed the Australia-Korea Free Trade Agreement with Australia's Prime Minister Tony Abbott. Park has proposed as one item on the national agenda the eradication of four major social evils sexual violence, domestic violence, school violence, and unsafe food. Statistics show that sexual violence and domestic violence are increasing in these years. Without referring to statistical data, aggravating school violence or food safety is a public concern in South Korea. She also launched the National Unity Committee on June 17 with the purpose to advise the president in the process of resolving various conflicts in South Korean society and establishing a culture of CO existence and CO prosperity. 
former Democratic United Party adviser Han Kuang Ok was named as the head. On May 18, 2013, President Park Jaunhai attended the 33rd anniversary of the Guangzhou massacre, and gave voice to sorrow for the victim's family members. Park proposed three steps to North Korea to help move toward the reunification of the Korean Peninsula, on March 28 in Dresden during her state visit to Germany and marking the Korean Peninsula's liberation from Japan's colonial rule Friday, President Park said, as anguish from the two Koreas' separation passes from one generation to the next, abnormalities on the divided peninsula have become the norm. The South Korean president then highlighted the urgent need to increase understanding and to help merge the lives of South and North Koreans for reunification. Starting with jointly managing rivers and forests running through the two Koreas, we need to expand joint projects that benefit both sides. In that respect, I hope North Korea will attend the UN Convention on Biological Diversity Conference to be held in South Korean city of Pyeongchang in October. President Park Jaunhai has warned that a new nuclear test by North Korea could lead to a nuclear domino effect, that might provide its neighbors with a pretext to arm themselves with nuclear weapons, as she sat down with Wall Street Journal managing editor Gerard Baker in Seoul on May 28. On May 18, 2014, Park announced South Korea's plans to break up its Coast Guard after failing to respond well during the MV Swole ferry disaster. According to Park, investigation and information roles would be transferred to the South Korea National Police while the rescue and salvage operation and ocean security roles would be transferred to the Department for National Safety, not to be confused with the Korean Ministry of Security and Public Administration, which will be newly established. On November 19, 2014, the Korea Coast Guard and National Emergency Management Agency ceased control as the Ministry of Public Safety and Security was founded at the same day. On May 26, 2015, Park urged the head of the Asian Development Bank to cooperate with South Korea and the China-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank after South Korea had officially applied to join the Chinese-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank in late March 2015. On May 1, 2016, Park became the first Korean president to visit Iran. She was at the head of a 236-member delegation of businessmen and entrepreneurs during a three-day visit to Tehran to discuss bilateral trade and other matters of mutual interest. She met Iranian President Hassan Rouhani and held talks with Supreme Leader Ali Khomeini. The two countries also signed 19 basic agreements to expand mutual cooperation over a variety of areas. Earlier. Iran's President Rouhani emphasized that Iran and South Korea are set to boost their trade volume from the current $6 billion to $18 billion. Park suffered a serious setback in the 2016 general elections on April 13, 2016, as the Senurai Party lost both its majority and its status as first party in the National Assembly. Park had been criticized for her involvement in the elections and the party's nomination process, and other Senurai members blamed the pro-Park faction in the party for the defeat. Park loyalists fared badly in constituency elections. The result was seen to hinder the chances of Park's passing her proposed economic reforms and in the aftermath of the results the conservative The Chosen Ilbo stated that Park's lame duck period has started earlier than any other administration in the past. In July 2013, public support for Park's method of governing state affairs reached up to 63%, much higher than the percentage of the votes she had won in the presidential election, which is 52%.
The Korean media explained that such a high level of support comes from Park's principled North Korea policy, constructive outcome from visits to the United States and China, and distancing away from internal political disputes. By January 2015, Park's approval rating had fallen to 30 percent, partly due to the sinking of MV Swole and disputes with North Korea. By September 2015, Park's approval had increased to 54 percent due to her diplomacy that defused a military standoff with North Korea, but in the aftermath of her party's 2016 election loss, her ratings fell back to 31.5 percent, plunging 8.1 percentage points compared to the week before the election. On November 4, 2016, Park's ratings fell to 4-5% as details of her relationship with Choi Soon-sil were investigated and exposed in what became the 2016 South Korean political scandal. Park was arrested on March 31, 2017, and held in pre-trial detention at the Seoul Detention Center in Uiwang, Jiayongi Province. On April 17, 2017, Park was formally charged with abuse of power, bribery, coercion, and leaking government secrets. Park denied the charges during five rounds of interrogation while in jail, leading to a pending trial that is expected to last up to six months. Prosecutors are seeking a 30-year jail term for Park along with a fine of 118.5 billion won. Park had been often criticized for being the daughter of a dictator and for not actively supporting the Lee administration by supporters of Lee Myung-bok. A national-level poll conducted in July 2012 by a conservative newspaper reported that 59% of participants responded they did not believe Park was a daughter of a dictator while 36% agreed with the characterization. During a recent interview with the Changju broadcast station CJB, Park commented regarding her stance that her father's May 16 coup was a revolution to save the country by stating, I don't think it's the place of politicians to be fighting over whether we're a coup d'etat or a revolution. In a July 2012 survey, 50% of respondents answered that they disagreed with Park's assessment that her father's 1961 coup was unavoidable, the best possible choice and an advisable decision, as opposed to 37% that agreed. From another survey conducted in July 2012, 42% of respondents agreed with her opinion that her father's 1961 coup was unavoidable, while 46% disagreed. Park has faced much scrutiny over an educational foundation, Jiangsu Scholarship Foundation, formerly known as Bill, which her father, and later she, headed. Its original owners claimed in court they were forced to turn it over to her father. A Senurai Party Assemblyman Nam Kyung Pil criticized the park-centered nature of the party, regarding its preparation for the 2012 presidential election, and stated, if we keep seeing the same situation where Park Jaun Hai gives a press conference before a general meeting of lawmakers is held, and what she says then gets decided on as the party's position, then the public is going to think democracy has disappeared from the party. Furthermore, some have said Park's behavior in the lead up to 2012 presidential election was a mixture of trend following and corner cutting, a stark contrast with the vehement insistence on principle that she showed when she opposed a revision of the plan for a multifunctional administrative city in Sejong City. For instance, Yim Tae Hee, another presidential candidate of the party, pointed to Park's voting down of a motion to arrest Chung Duan, a lawmaker implicated with bribery related to saving banks. Another candidate, A.H.N. Sang-soo, 
accused Park of saying one thing yesterday and another today. Park fired Yun Chong Young, a Blue House spokesman who was alleged by Washington police to have committed sexual assault against a young woman hired as an intern at the South Korean Embassy in Washington during President Park's first visit to the United States. Park has been criticized for picking the wrong people for senior government posts. Just a week before the presidential election date, the opposing party alleged that the public servants from National Intelligence Service have organized to promote Park's election campaign by way of posting online articles favorable to Park and slanderous to the opposing candidates. This political behavior by public servants is strictly prohibited by Korean constitution. To prove their allegation, the opposing Democratic Party, along with the Police and Central Election Assistance Commission, swooped in the house where the alleged agent of NIS has resided. From there, the 29-year-old female agent, later known as Ha Young Kim, who was running an illegal online election campaign operation such as spreading slanderous postings about the opposing candidate had locked herself in. The police could not force to enter the house and the standoff lasted for three days, provoking a tense political standoff. The opposition accused the intelligence service of blocking an investigation. Park and her party accused the opposition of harassing the woman. Park even said the standoff of the self-lock-in was a violation of a female right in the presidential candidate debate that took place three days before the election. Later that night of the presidential debate, Kim Yong-pan, then the chief of Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, publicly announced there was no evidence of illegal online postings from the collected laptop of the female agent. This announcement which took place three days before the election, was believed to have significantly affected the outcome of the presidential election according to the opposing party. After months of probes into the alleged election meddling, the prosecution concluded in mid-June 2013 that one SEI Hoon, then NIS chief who headed the intelligence agency for around four years under former President Lee Myung-bak, ordered agents to conduct online smear campaign against opposition presidential candidates. The special investigation drew a conclusion that the agents systemically intervened in domestic politics by writing thousands of postings on politics in cyberspace through hundreds of different user IDs. Kim Yong-pan, then chief of the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, was prosecuted without physical detention on charges of abusing his authority to hamper police investigation into the case. CCTV conversation between the computer analysts who were analyzing the laptop at police revealed that the police already knew there were illegal online postings against the opposing party's candidates, but the chief of SMPA publicly announced otherwise an announcement that indicates intentional meddling into the presidential election. The investigation and the trial at court are ongoing, and Park faces a political blow. However, the leading Senurai party along with government leaders has attempted to dodge its political fallout. Their effort has involved tipping a rumor to a major conservative media, chosen Ilbo, about an extramarital child of the Che Dung Wook, former prosecutor general, who has approved the prosecution of one Se Hoon and Kim Yong Pan, which eventually led to his resignation. Yoon Sukriol, the director of the special investigation team, which was leading the probe into the election meddling, was fired and returned to his original position head of Yajua Branch Supreme Prosecutor's Office. The investigation of his team has further revealed that the NIS is suspected of having posted 55,689 messages on Twitter for three months until the presidential election.
Whether or not the election meddling of the NIS by way of online posts has actually affected the outcome of the presidential election is controversial. However, the false announcement by Kim Young Pan, then chief of the SMPA, has appeared to do so. Had the police announced honestly, 14% of the electorate who voted for Park said they would have voted for Moon Jae-in, the first runner-up of the election. Park has been criticized for holding press conferences with questions and answers submitted in advance. As of January 11, 2015, she held press conferences four times since she took office in February 2013. Among the four press conferences, three of them were public speeches without questions and answers. Even in the remaining press conference, the questions were submitted in advance and she read prepared answers. Her opponents labeled her as no communication. On November 15, 2015, around 80,000 anti-government protesters clashed with government forces on the streets of Seoul, demanding that Park step down, with many of the protesters chanting Park Joon Hai, step down. The rally was triggered by Park's adopting business-friendly labor policies and a decision to require middle and high schools to use only state-issued history textbooks in classes starting in 2017, combined with plans to make labor markets more flexible by giving employers more leeway in dismissing workers. Security forces fired tear gas and sprayed water cannons into the crowd when protesters attempted to break through police barricades. In the wake of the April 2014 capsize of the Swole Ferry, public outcry arose over the government's handling of the situation. In response, the Park administration established a commission to monitor and prosecute social media critics of Park. Tatsuya Kato, Japanese journalist who was a Seoul bureau chief of South Korea at Sankey Shimbun was indicted on charges of defamation for reporting the relationship of President Park Joon hye and Choi Soon-sil's husband, Chung yoon hoi by the Supreme Prosecutor's Office of the Republic of Korea after the MV Swole sank. On June 25, 2015 Park said that betrayal which breaks the trust shouldn't be accepted in politics and this should be punished by election with people's own hands. This mention was aimed to Yu Seung-min who was a member of Senurai Party. Her mention was criticized by Professor Jogik and politician Moon Jae-in because it had a purpose of losing Yoo Seung-min's election which is protected by Public Official Election Act. But the National Election Commission decided not to treat Park's mention as a violation of Public Official Election Act. In late October 2016, investigations into Park's relationship with Choi soon Sil daughter of the late Church of Eternal Life cult leader and President Park's mentor Choi Tae-min began. Several news media including JTBC and the Hankure reported that Choi, who has no official government position, had access to confidential documents and information for the president, and acted as a close confidant for the president. Choi and President Park's senior staffs including both A.H.N. Zhang Bum and Zhang Ho-sung used their influence to extort 77.4 billion from Korean Chabel's family-owned large business conglomerates and set up two culture and sports-related foundations, Mir and K-Sports Foundations. Choi is also accused of having influenced Iwa Women's University to change their admission criteria in order for her daughter Chung Yura to be given a place there. A.H.N. Zhang Bum and Zhang Ho-sung, top presidential aides, were arrested for abuse of power and helping Choi, they denied wrongdoing and claimed that they were simply following President Park's orders. On October 25, 2016, Park publicly acknowledged her close ties with Choi. 
On October 28, Park dismissed key members of her top office staff while her approval ratings fell to 4%. Her approval rating ranged from 1 to 3 percent for Korean citizens under 60 years of age, while it remained higher, at 13 percent, for the over 60 age group. It was the worst ever approval rate in Korean history and is worse than the 6 percent approval rating of former President Kim Young-sam, who was widely blamed for forcing the Korean economy into the 1997 Asian financial crisis. The controversy led to mass protests and rallies in October and November 2016 calling for her resignation. On November 12, more than one million citizens participated in the protests at Gwangae-Wamun Square close to presidential residence demanding President Park's resignation or impeachment. On November 19, Another one million people participated in the national protest after Park refused to help in the investigation. Park then fired a number of her cabinet members and the Prime Minister. In particular, the sacking of the Prime Minister Wang Kyohan resulted in a controversy, due to the claim that his firing was carried out via a text message. The Supreme Prosecutor's Office of Korea in laying charges against Choi and two former presidential aides, have alleged that President Park colluded with the three in certain criminal activities. The president would be questioned by prosecutors, the first time this has occurred with a serving South Korean president. Following the scandal, there were a series of massive demonstrations that started in the first week of November 2016. On November 29, 2016, Park offered to resign as president, and invited the National Assembly to arrange a transfer of power. The opposition parties rejected the offer, accusing Park of attempting to avoid the process of impeachment. The National Assembly instead filed a motion for impeachment which was put to a vote on December 9, 2016 and passed with 234 supports. Due to the ratification of her impeachment proposal, her presidential powers and duties were suspended, and Prime Minister Wang Kyohan assumed those powers and duties as acting president. Park was finally ousted from office by the Constitutional Court on March 10, 2017. The decision was unanimous, 8-0 in favor of impeachment, as announced shortly thereafter. On March 26, 2017, South Korean prosecutors announced they were seeking an arrest warrant against Park. This warrant was granted by the Seoul Central District Court on March 30, 2017 and Park was arrested later that day.